We are facing SV at Darmstadt in the DFB Pokal, which is the team we played in the relegation playoff. Funny how, what, 10 games later, we are in this absolutely terrific form, where back then we were genuinely 45 minutes away from being relegated. I wonder what's going through there, man. They're probably looking at us thinking, hey, that could be us. Yeah, you could think so, bro, but no, yeah? Know your level. This is us, that's you, yeah? Now, I'm not a superstitious guy, yeah? Not in the slightest, but I've noticed that ever since the good old uh, hack made an appearance, we have not lost a game. Now, I'm not saying that's why we haven't lost. I wouldn't discredit Marcel and the team like that, but hey, if it's around and we're doing well, well, I think we're just gonna keep it around for a little longer because, boys, we are third in the table. Do you know what that means? That means we are the third best team in the country. <laughs> and if you can notice, I am feeling good. I am very excited. I am enjoying my time here. And I mean, if you're gonna be going through relegation battles and it's all gonna be miserable and you know, you're gonna go through all of that bad times, you have to rejoice in the good times, but can the good times keep rolling as Marcel goes back to Mönchengladbach? He goes back to his own city as we face yeah, Borussia Mönchengladbach at Borussia Park, but we're not here for any homecoming. Yeah, we're not here to be celebrated, bro. We're here to be the ultimate super villain and we're here to take three points. Look at that face does that look like a face of a man that's here for a little tour yeah no we're here to win that's why we're here bro so we're facing Gladbach in their own stadium and we're looking to kick on now and try to keep up the good times bro because we find ourselves in a position where we didn't even imagine yeah we didn't even think this was possible but we're gonna ride that wave and see how long this last welcome FIFA 23 Schalke career mode. If you're going to enjoy the video, please do drop a like on it and subscribe as well. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Can Marcel and the boys get another big win? Claim another big dub against a tough opponent? Having already beaten Dortmund, having already beaten Bayern Munich, both away, by the way. <laughs> Can we go out here? and get another dub. Let's find out. You can see the confidence in the way we play now. The boys very much accustomed to the style of play, to the tactics, to their roles, to exactly what is required of them. And you can see the boys are moving the ball around so swiftly. Two minutes in, a crowd with a shot, and Marcel is looking calm, bro. He knows what exactly he wants from the team, and the team know exactly what they should be doing. Oh, yeah, and with a corner, gonna whip that one in there towards the danger area. But it's cleared away, we can recover the second ball. Oh, yeah, and with another chance, but this time, straight to the keeper. Trying to build up from the back here. Of course, we had Martin Kaminsky sent off in the last game. So we have Tower coming in at the back. So we may be a bit rusty there, but we're definitely on rusty in the attack here with Jordan Larson, who's had a terrific start to the season, actually keeping out one of our marquee signings, Ardegola. And you can see why. Whenever he gets the ball, he looks lively, man. Some defending for us to do here though. Alex Kral very much committed to stop that short corner. And snip this move in a butt. Good block there from the boys. And the ref has blown here for a free kick to Gladbach. That must have been a dangerous area. Yeah, just outside the box. Must be for handball. If it was inside the box, it could have been a pen. They're gonna. Oh, what a save. What an actual save that is. Alexander Nubel, did he save it onto the post or off the post onto his hand? I genuinely don't know. It's actually off the post onto his hand. That's a ridiculous save from Nubel. A corner there. We had that one away. 
We had a quick start. We had a bright start to the game. But Gladbach have really grown into it now. And you can see they're moving the ball about around the box, into the box. We're keeping solid. We're keeping compact. We are shutting down all the spaces, making vital blocks. And perhaps a chance for us to break now with Eduard. Eduard again getting a start ahead of Ziegler today. Very much deserved, but has not done much. And we have struggled to get through that Gladbach defense at times. And here they come again. Oh my days, oh yeah, and they're sent for a donut, bro. But Krull is there. And a combination of Krull and oh yeah, and get the ball back. And now, can we get forward? This has been a very, very tough game. And towards the end of the half here, we are struggling a bit to get out of our own half. Another big contribution from Alexander Nubel. Only a minute added on there. That's going to be a foul and it's going to be a yellow card. Looks like it's going to be nil-nil at the break. And that may be a fair result. A draw at least is. I don't know if it should be goal or so because both teams have had chances. We had our chances towards the beginning of the half. They had their chances towards the end of the half. But nonetheless, it remains goalless at Borussia Park. Can we get a similar start to the second half as we did in the first? Just with something to show for it at the end. Oh, there is Larson. Larson again heavily involved, but fouled and has gone down. Looks like he may have picked up an injury there. We play on for now and we will be getting a free kick here for a handball. I really hope that injury on Larson isn't too bad, you know. We scored from a free kick last time. Oh, yeah, scored against Dortmund. Can he do the same here against Gladbach? It's definitely in shooting distance. It's going to go for... Oh, it's into, the, it's into the wall, mate. It's into the wall. How underwhelming was that? Oh, my days. Okay, we're actually going to take off Larson here and bring on... Do you bring on Bolta? Do you bring on Gula? We're going to go for Gula. Let's give Gula a chance. A chance for him to show us something, bro. We have invested money in you, you know. I was out here hyping you as the next Ozil, my guy. Deliver, yeah? Deliver now. Come on. Well, speaking of delivery, that was a terrible set piece there from Oyan, who has been poor from corners this season. I have to say, we should maybe think of taking him off set pieces. Well, from corners at least, because yeah, his crossing has been poor, man. It really has been. We have some defending to do here again here. And now we're close to the final 20 minutes. We're actually final 25 minutes now. And you'd think the next goal, the opening goal, may actually be the last goal. Because both of these teams have defended well. You know, both goalkeepers have made a couple of saves. And there hasn't been many chances. So the team that takes the lead now would be in a very good position. That was a terrible tackle from Kadira. What's the ref going to do now? It's a red card. It's another red card. It's another red card. I swear it's the same ref, bro. I swear it is. This ref has it in for us. I'm not even kidding. That's like, what, the third game? Fourth game in a row with a red card? This is stupid, boys. Kedira said, oh, we're going to have to move things around a bit here. We don't have midfielders really as options. So we're going to drop Gula a bit back. He's terrible at defending, but... I mean, he'll just be another body in there. And here is Arda Gula actually linking up with Sufala. Why there to get forward? And Arda Gula driving forward, trying to show us something. Good ball in there. Well, he did show us something. Eduard. Trying to turn. Maybe find space and Sufal will find Gola and Gola will find the back of the net too. I don't know, it's like we wait to go a man down first. I'm trying to process what's going on here, boys. Uh, we've gotten a red card and we have kicked into gear and Arda Gola has arrived. Has he arrived? Is he finally here, bro? Stepping up with a massive goal, though. Cannot ask more from him. And here he is again, 
taking a shot on. Ooh, 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 that could have been something. That could have been something. Hoping that that first goal for him will give him the confidence now to go on and show why we have spent money and have invested in this guy. Should we be concerned by the fact that we wait to go a man down before we score? That has happened in the last few games. Oh, that was dangerous. Right towards the end there. Looks like we may just hang on here for a 1-0. And we're going to try to ensure that we do that. By bringing on a couple of fresh stars. We're going to bring on Kareem Talanoglu. We're going to bring on Mehmet Aydan as the two wing backs. We're also going to take off Flick. And we're going to bring on Flick for Salazar. Go for a more defensive player in midfield. But this whole thing of us going a man down and then scoring has happened a couple times. It's happened against Dortmund. And I believe it happened in our last game as well. I could be wrong. But listen, if it means we keep winning games, then bloody hell, we should probably start with a man down. Oh, that's a very good header on there. And Gola may be in again here. Very good play from Edward to Gola to the back of the net to secure three points. Whatever works, whatever works. That may be a tactic, yeah? Go a man down, yeah? Make them feel like they can go out and win the game. And now, nah, guess what? Long ball, City! A long ball from the keeper. Edward who flicks it on to Gola. Very direct, not pretty, but very effective. Out of the Gola from the bench onto the score sheet with a brace. Us asking him to step up. With that injury to Larson, again hoping it's not too serious, but Gula may be here, boys. He may have actually arrived. He may have just announced himself in time. But the bigger picture, Schalke win again. Listen, Marcel, bro, I don't know what you're cooking here. Yeah? I don't know what you're cooking, but bro, keep it up. Because the results are un undoubtable at this point. I mean... Towards the end of the last episode, I asked if us aiming for Europe is realistic now, you know? And with the position we find ourselves in, at least getting into the top seven or finishing within the top seven should be our aim. But bro, we're beating all the big teams, you know? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to say something stupid, yeah? I don't want to go out here and aim for some mad stuff, but... Let's just keep it up. One win at a time. Yeah, let's let's be humble. One win at a time. Arja Gula could not have asked more from him. Came on from the bench. Pressure on him to deliver. And he did. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. And unfortunately, with this injury to Jordan Larson, Gula will have to keep up what he did there against Gladbach. Looks like Larson's going to be out for about three months. Not great at all. But Gula is back. In the team, they're actually starting today. We have Ziegler starting as well. Edouard didn't have the best performance against Gladbach. But we have two very good strikers. So I'm very comfortable with rotating either one. We have Ziegler in there against Augsburg. We're going to go with the highlights. Yeah, the highlights were an absolute mess last time. Now let's hope that they are, I mean, a bit more functional today. Yeah, let's hope for that. Here is Ziegler. Ziegler already threw the whole team. And Leo Ziegler... Onto the score sheet. Back in the lineup, and it's taken him a whole four minutes to get his first goal here. Solo run for Augsburg. That means we have some defending to do here. Just about checking the run, checking the run, forcing him to take the shot, which was an absolute terrible decision. But what do I know? Free kick. I mean, it's on the center line. Is this even a highlight? I mean, I see that and they just go ahead and blast it in from the halfway line. Who knows, bro, right? Counter-attack for Augsburg. We're still in the first half. We're in the 37th minute. We haven't really had any attacking chances since that goal. I'm pretty sure we've just had to defend ever since then. Which isn't great. You know, it's not a... Good reflection on how the game is going. Finding it difficult to get the ball back here, but Flick in the end there does get it back. Now we're into the second half. And more defending for us to do. A more 
attacks from Augsburg. Forcing him wide, they're good defending yet again. Forcing him to take that tight angle. And finally an attack from ourselves here. A free kick, or is it really an attack? Again, a free kick. Halfway, we're gonna take it short, Salazar. Gonna try to get us forward here. Here is Gula. Gula's dispossessed there, get the chance gone. An attack for Schalke again. Final 16 minutes now. Let's try to get that second goal. Moving the ball about. Trying to see what we can do here. Is Gula again heavily involved in all of our attacks, but they are not leading to anything. Solo run for Augsburg with two minutes left. This is it, boys. This may be the last chance of the game. Just have to defend this scenario and we may get three points here. They may have messed it up. They have messed it up. Simple. Wait, the game's done. Oh, it is done. The game is done. I thought there was another chance there. But full time at the Veltons Arena. Schalke pick up three points again. Listen, at this point, you may start calling us the three points collectors. Yeah. Another win. And it's becoming routine now, and we keep moving on. And more good news, Dakunam Jene will be returning from injury. He picked up a bit of a knock in the last episode. He was out for four weeks, but he is back in the squad today. We are facing Asfia Darmstadt in the DFB Pokal, which is the team we played in the relegation playoff. Funny how... What, 10 games later? We are in this absolutely terrific form. Where back then we were genuinely 45 minutes away from being relegated. I wonder what's going through there, man. They're probably looking at us thinking, hey, that could be us. Yeah, you could think so, bro. But no, yeah, know your level. This is us. That's you, yeah? Let's go out there and show the clear difference in the levels and beat these guys and progress in the cups because... We're going to be taking the Cubs very seriously as Edward here just absolutely blasts through the defenses, through one on one and scores! Yeah, we're going to be taking this cup very seriously because although we've had a terrific start in the Bundesliga, realistically speaking, this is the only chance we have of winning a trophy. I mean, bro, I say that Marcel, with the way he has the team play, he can go on a crazy run and we lift the Bundesliga trophy at the end of the season. But bro, if that happens, I'll eat my hat. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, I should be careful what I'm saying here, but they're back in the game. We're talking about winning the Bundesliga, boys. Let's refocus. Yeah, let's refocus because Darmstadt have equalized. It's 1-1. We made a lot of changes, giving a lot of players some chances, including Ralph Farman in goal, who I believe should have done better for their goal there. But we are still going, still very much the team with the control in the game. And I like that very good movement here. And Carl is in some space. And Carl will take on the shot. And he will bury it. An absolute pile driver from the edge of the box there from Alex Kral. Everybody standing off him. Nobody closing him down. And he was like, why not? Absolute rocket, mate. It did not swerve at all. That's a missile into the bottom corner. And the away fans and Marcel rejoice as we retake the lead. Alex Krull with a hell of a goal. We're actually into the second half here, still leading 2-1. Trying to get that third goal. How did he not even hit the target there, Edward? I mean, you should be doing better. They were actually going to take off Sane here and bring on Gula. We're going to try to go for that third goal just to kill off the game, you know, but also keep it solid. So we're also going to bring on Rodrigo Salazar, play him and Kral as a double pivot. I don't think... I was going to say, I don't think we would need the goal, but their goal came out of nowhere. And, you know, if they get another goal out of nowhere... Then it's suddenly 2-2 and we may need extra time. I don't even know if it goes to extra time, but let's make sure that situation doesn't even happen. Edward again. Should be doing better there. Yes, I done. To the byline. The, the cross is shocking, bro. It's absolutely shocking, but it will not matter. 2-1 will be enough. 
the absolute rocket from Alex Crow, which is a goal that deserves to win any game, wins this one for us today and we progress in the DFB Pokal 2, the third round where we will be facing Esfia Seindhausen. And that's the round of 16. So if you think about it, bro, we have another second division team in the round of 16. Can we see? Oh, Dortmund are actually out. They've got knocked out on penalties. So a couple of big teams are looking like they're going out. Your Stuttgart are out. Or oh, Bayern are still in it, which isn't great, of course. But hey, who knows what we can do in the cup? Gola suffered a bit of a knock there, so he'll miss the next game, which is unfortunate because it's a top two clash. We're into second place. We're facing Wolfsburg, who are top. If we beat them, we can go level on points. The goal difference, though, I don't think we'd be able to go top because we'd have to smash them like 6-0, <laughs> which isn't going to happen. We're in a situation, boys, where a win can take us level with the team top of the Bundesliga. I'm not going to try to rationalize what's going on here. I'm not going to try to explain how we're in this position. No, I'm here for the vibes, bro. Yeah, I'm here to ride this wave, mate, because we don't know when this may end, right? So let's enjoy the good times. We're in second place. We are away to Wolfsburg. Is it the Volkswagen Arena? I believe it is. <laughs> we're on a hell of a winning run. And boy, if we win today, yeah, if we win today, boys, who knows what could happen? Who knows what could happen? But they obviously are a decent side. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We have Ziegler back in there after that really poor performance from Eduard in the cup. So more rotation in the squad. Pretty much the first team were rested. Doesn't look like they were with Brunner absolutely shitting the bed there and putting us a goal down. Two minutes? Really, boys? Two minutes? Two minutes? That's how long we could hang with top of the table? Two minutes? <sighs> you know in the big games, that's when the frauds get exposed. And I can lie, that's a very fraudulent start to this game. Or a goal down. Let's wake up and refocus. Yeah, come on. Here come Wolfsburg again. And with the way they're moving the ball about, bro. <laughs> it's not looking good. It's not looking good. But they're not really progressing, so I'm happy with that. Still keeping our shape. Still have them on the wrong side or on the right side of our goal for now at least. Well, they've moved the ball all the way around here and found the shot away. Pedro Neto, they're forcing the save out of Alexander Nubel. Corner to Wolfsburg. This is not a good start from us at all, bro. They have us under all sorts of pressure right now. Bruna, good defending there. Gets the ball back. Oh my days, we just about lose it on the edge of the box. Off oh, the crossbar and clear. Could have easily been two. Could have easily been two. But Ziegler. Oyan. Oyan looking for Ziegler. Ziegler trying to hold off Maxence Lacroix there, who is an absolute unit of a centre back himself. So, yeah, Ziegler's in for a tough game against him, to be fair. I don't even think he can beat him for pace, bro. The guy is absolutely rapid. And we cannot deal with Wolfsburg's pressing. You can see how high they're pressing. We're going to try to go long. They're winning all the headers. This is... Look at this. Look at this, bro. We are so incompetent in possession in this game. There's nobody with a cool head, boys. Focus. Calm down. Play your game. You know how we play by now. Sufal. That's a terrible cross. Stay to Castiles. They go long this time after we try to press them. Wins the header there. Does Kadira. Ball here. Back to Ziegler. Ziegler holding off his man. Ziegler very involved in the attack. Kral not really getting the space he had in the last game to have one of those shots. 
Yeah, we're finding it difficult to get through this Wolfsburg defense, bro. They are so mobile, yet so solid. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. They keep their shape so well, but their defenders are constantly moving, constantly tracking the runs, constantly moving ball side. And we're finding it difficult to move them out of position. Look at that, bro. They are so physical as well. They are pressing us very high. This has been a very difficult game for us. We have not been able to string a couple of passes together. We really have to change up here in the second half because Wolfsburg are dominating. Salazar playing flick. Ball out wide here to Sufal in a decent position. Sufal to the middle! Towards Ziegler. Terrible. Absolutely terrible shot there. Okay, let's move things around here. We're going to take off a flick and bring on Edouard. This is who we need Gula to try to create something, but unfortunately, he misses out today with an injury. So we're going to try to see what Edouard and Ziegler can do up top there. And to be fair, oh, that's a very good header. That's a very good cross. So far, is having a very good game. He's putting a couple of decent balls in there. And we're looking a bit more lively. Try to attack them in the wide areas. Because down the middle, it's a long day, bro. They are so solid down the middle. With the three midfielders in there as well. Hey, we have a pen! We have a pen! Okay, okay. A chance for us. We were a bit too focused there on trying to break down Wolfsburg, not realizing that Cristante just about punched the ball away. I mean, any goalkeeper would be proud of that. Leo Ziegler stepping up. Can he make it 1-1? Ziegler will make it 1-1. And we are back in at the game. What's the clock? 20 minutes. 20 minutes to find a winner. Big 20 minutes ahead. We have definitely stepped up in the second half. We have changed a couple of stuff around, you know, tried to stop attacking them through the middle, go out wide, and it has worked. We're going to bring on Danko Namjene. Definitely our best center back. Going to bring him on. He's back from injury and just going to need him to be solid and marshal that defense. And here is another chance, perhaps, with... Sikala, Sikala, Sikala. That was the moment, bro. That was actually the moment. Good play from the lads, from Edouard, unselfish. We are knocking on the door though. We are really knocking on the door. Salazar again here, Rodrigo Salazar this time. Ziegler will not miss. He'll miss once, he'll miss twice, but boy, keep feeding him and the monster will eventually eat. Leo Ziegler gives us the lead against Wolfsburg. <laughs> and we are minutes away minutes away from being tied top of the Bundesliga table boys what's that 10 minutes listen listen that's yeah we have to defend we have to defend we have been so good in the attack in the second half I'm proud of you yeah proud of all of you now just about digging in yeah just about bringing on some fresh legs digging in and seeing out the result this is something we have done very well so far this season you guys stay back no need to push up the field anymore yeah we need to defend the lead and we need those three points in the back we're almost there boys we're almost there Final two minutes now. Very good play there from Kedira. Can we get the ball away here? Ziegla. Finding Rodrigo Salazar. Salazar, they're losing it. Come on, get back into shape. Get back into shape real quick, boys. We don't really like these transitions, especially when we're trying to defend the lead, boys! Why did they push up? We said everybody stay back. The idea is to only attack with Salazar and Ziegla. Everybody pushed up and got out of position. 
Oh, in the 90th minute, Wolfsburg equalized to make it 2-2. Is there maybe one more chance in this game? Well, there might be, but maybe not for us. With the way we're moving. Ah, oh, they better on two minutes. This is it. This is the final attack of the game. Well, they actually do not use it. And at the death, we drop two points. We drop two points. It's a draw against Wolfsburg. It's a disappointing draw, to be fair. That feels like a loss. That really does feel like a loss. And because of that, we are now down to fourth. I mean, we have a game in hand on Wolfsburg and Bayern, who've already played. We play Hertha next. However, if we win, <laughs> if we win, we have a chance of going tied on points with Wolfsburg. Looks like Wolfsburg have dropped some points there. So that's good on us. So that draw in the end is not the worst result in the world, but just the manner in which it came is a bit heartbreaking. You know, we were so close to get full three points, but it's fine. Yeah. We're not going to be perfect and win every single game, so we'll take that. And actually, we'll take this as well. Tom Cross is returning from injury, so that's going to be good. I'll have to be fair. Kadira has been very solid for us, but having Cross back will give us a different kind of defensive midfielder, a more mobile player. They can also play as a box-to-box -box midfielder, so we'll have another option from the bench there. But our fixture list is looking a bit more kind. We're into November, and let's be real, we've dealt with all of the big boys, really. We have Hertha coming up, we have Hoffenheim, we have Dusseldorf, and then we have that tie in the round of 16 in the DFB Pokal. Am I being big-headed and saying we should be winning all of those? Not in an entitled way, right? But for a team who are fourth, for a team who've only lost one all season, for a team who are scoring goals for fun and playing some of the best football in the league, if I say so myself, I think that should be four wins, but let's see if we will be able to do that. Do drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it, and let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. Subscribe as well, I would greatly appreciate that. And hey, you will not be missing any future videos. I've been Kutu Crusher, I'll see you guys next time.